Hey, New Hope, Pastor Kerry here. I'm coming to you from the parking lot of one of our shopping malls. You know, two months ago, this place would have been hopping at this time. Now it's like a ghost town. As we're all well aware, the whole country has been under some form of distancing or quarantine, shelter in place, or near lockdown for what seems like forever. But things are finally starting to open up and perhaps life will soon return to at least some semblance of normalcy. Of course, there's still a lot of debate regarding how and when things should open, even for the church. But our time is coming sooner than for some businesses and other public venues. In fact, in some places, people are getting so anxious to get out and get back to work that they're literally starting to riot in the streets. Now, I'm not here to debate all that or to push one way or the other. I know the president keeps making the point that the country wasn't set up to be shut down. People want to be productive, and that's true. But whether or not it's time to get back to full operation is a debate for another day. We have at least a little ways to go. But I want to remind all of us today of another way that we were never intended to be shut down or closed off. And that's when it comes to sharing our faith and serving God's purposes and giving of ourselves for the good of others. Because as critical as it may be to open up the economy, it's even more crucial for us to keep our lives and hearts open to God's work and to sharing his love and message with others. Let's be honest, when it comes to sharing what God has given us and what he's done for us, have our lives been completely open or at least partially closed for business? You know, one of the reasons people give for wanting to keep the economy shut down for a while longer is for the sake of safety, to keep the virus under control. Well, keeping our faith to ourselves may also seem to be the safe option. In fact, many people, including a lot of Christians, regard their faith as a private and personal thing. They're of the opinion that it's best for people to keep their beliefs to themselves. But that's not the way God intends. He wants us to be open with our faith and willing to spread his message. Jesus says in Matthew 5, 14, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. He's saying that in both words and actions, we're to be open with our faith, not keeping it to ourselves, so others can see that light. And that means talking about it, and using your God-given resources and abilities and opportunities to honor Him. You see, God is always at work. He's never closed for business, but the way He accomplishes His work is through us. And Jesus doesn't want us to be like that unfaithful worker in Matthew chapter 25 who buried the talent he was given and never put it to use for the master. And just as people are made to be active and productive in their work, it's even more important to be active with our faith and openly spreading Christ's message because now as much as ever, people are looking for hope and answers and purpose. And if we have those things, why would we keep them to ourselves? You know, during this time of shutdown, some people in businesses have been allowed to carry on their work as usual, even more than usual. Things like healthcare workers, grocery stores, first responders, those are considered essential workers. But how much more essential is it to carry on God's work during a time that for many people is filled with anxiety and uncertainty? People need the message of God's hope as much as ever. You know, in Matthew chapter 10, when Jesus sends out his disciples to speak and to heal and to set people free, he told them, freely you have received, freely give. In other words, let's not keep God's blessing to ourselves. Take time to advance God's purposes. If you're home with your family, uh, use this time to invest in them spiritually and to lead your kids and spouse in times of prayer or Bible reading or just spending more quality time together. If you're doing more on social media, use that platform to encourage others and to let them know God is encouraging you and share the things that the church is sending out like these devotionals. I guarantee you that it will speak to others just like it speaks to you. And it's going to open doors for you to share more with your friends down the road. But whatever opportunity you have, tell people about what God has done for you. Take time to pray for them. Let them know you're praying for them. Serve people by helping meet their needs. And if and when people ask you why you're doing these things, 1 Peter 3.15 says, always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. So as we prepare to reopen society for business, we come back together as a church, 
Let's get ready to open our lives and to be more free in sharing our faith and our gifts with others. In fact, regardless of how long it is before the country opens up, our lives can and should always be open so that Christ can conduct his business through us. And let's not hesitate to talk about what God is doing in our lives or in our church or to ask people if we can pray for them about something. You might be surprised how open people are to prayer. And it's the easiest way to open a door to eventually talk further about God with them. And if you have a gift or ability or opportunity you haven't been fully utilizing for God, then get ready to get involved and put that thing to use once we're able to start meeting again. In fact, there are opportunities right now to help and to serve people in need. Maybe just calling people you know to see how they're doing. So amid all the talk about opening the country again, let's give even greater attention to opening ourselves more than ever to share God's message and our lives with others because there is no more essential work than that. So let your light shine. Let people see the reason that you're able to be at peace and to keep the faith regardless of what's going on around us. And I look forward to hearing the good reports of how God is using us even while we're apart. And I look forward to coming together again very soon. So let's keep praying to that end.